Hey fellow drone enthusiasts and uh, of course as always a shout out to uh, the Drone Seekers group. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to do something a little bit different today. Got the Xeno again. Uh, got the, I've got the uh, uh, 1.0.47 firmware installed as well as the 0.34 uh, camera firmware installed so we're gonna take it up today uh, I know uh, that there's still some issues with flyability uh, I had mine up the other day and <clears throat> there was some wind that I attributed it to but the drone wasn't very uh, steady it was uh, doing a little bit of this uh, so uh, I want to try today. Today is a beautiful blue sky day in Idaho. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably 45 degrees and the sun is out. And I feel bad for you people in the Midwest of the United States. Uh, I know you're snowed in with significantly cold weather. I know it's cold enough weather that it uh, could uh, potentially uh, cause uh, uh, some bad things to happen. So everybody in the Midwest, I hope you please uh, stay safe and stay warm. Uh, but anyway, what we're getting at here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try those things uh, with the new firmware. We're going to see if it does the uh, Hubson drop. Uh, I know Peter Martin has some success with his recent video that it wasn't dropping. So I have been doing a lot of hand launches and hand catches. So in this case, I'm going to uh, launch the drone from the ground and we'll see if it does uh, what I call the uh, Hubson drop. Uh, the other thing is we'll try and fly uh, directly away right and left and see if it rises or sinks uh, as some people have said uh, and uh, yeah then the other thing I got one more surprise here so I've seen people talk about <clears throat> using uh, an iPad mini to fly their uh, Xeno and I know for some people it hasn't worked I haven't tried it at all yet, but I but I got an OTG cable, and I had this mount that I had used on, I think I used it on a Mavic Pro, I didn't really use it much, but it fits right in the Xeno controller, so that works. So I've got my iPad Mini 4, uh, and I loaded up the, uh, the Hubson uh, app, and uh, I don't know, I'm just going to try it and see if it'll fly the little Xeno. So uh, uh, hopefully I can do a screen recording with this thing and you guys can uh, see it with me. So all that said, uh, give me a few minutes to get everything going here and, uh, and we'll get the little Xeno up in the air. Uh, so I'm hooked up here. I'm going to enter device. Yeah, boy, it's looking good. Uh, motor locked. I've got all the controls on here. Gosh, I think, I think we're a go here, folks. Uh, let me go and uh, make sure everything is hooked up uh, correctly. The feeling this might not work with my particular uh, iPad. Yeah, I didn't think it would because this this is a Wi-Fi only iPad. It is not uh, uh, cell connected. And my understanding is the uh, the Wi-Fi only iPads. Uh, uh, do not have GPS, so that's uh, and I see on my map. I don't see a map here either. But let's get the thing up in the air here. Let's step out of the way so the camera can see it. Yeah, there's that infamous uh, Hubson drop. It almost hit the ground there. Let me out. Uh, Whoops, I just about lost the, uh, the controller here. Yeah, this controller is pretty clumsy. I'm going to have to figure out a better way. But uh, And honestly, I'll probably use my phone most of the time. So let's get video started. Okay, we're recording video. And there, again, I let off the throttle and I watched it sink a little bit. So, all right, let's drop it down, bring it back towards us a little. So, yeah, you can see it raised there a little bit even after I stopped. Well, that's, that's typical of the Xeno, and it doesn't look like... Uh, 
like this uh, new version of uh, 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 flight control has really helped that. So, so let's try uh, let's try flying forward and turning and see if we get. Uh, I'm going to first try a turn to the right, and we should be able to see if it raises or lowers here. Okay, we're going forward. We're at 2.8 meters. Turn right. Yeah, and it. Well, it's rising. Okay. Let's bring it back here, and we'll try a left-hand turn. And there again, you know, when I when it hit the brakes there, it kept kind of moving and turning, and that's I found typical with this little drone. Okay, I'm going to turn it around 180 degrees here. And this time, uh, let's try a right turn, or excuse me, a left turn, and see if it climbs or sinks. Pitching forward, turning left. Yeah, and it's definitely sinking. Yeah, it, uh, I think if I would have kept going there, it would have hit the ground on that left turn. So clearly, those are still issues with the uh, with the flight control firmware. Let's bring her back to us. So what I'm not seeing today, uh, that was the issue we had the other day, uh, was uh, that uh, it was the, the drone was, uh, some people call it toilet bowling. I think in this case, it's a little bit different uh, because if I understand toilet bowl correctly, it. It, the, the circles keep getting wider and wider and eventually you lose control and that wasn't the case but there was wind and it seemed like the drone was fighting the wind and it was trying to uh, correct itself and it was doing small circles so uh, for instance today I mean you look at it it's it's pretty steady there I'm, let, me, let me give it a push and uh, you know I don't know if that proves anything but let's try that There it seems to have come back uh, pretty good, so uh, now, you know, it's kind of moving towards me here, so uh, the, the thing to remember with the Xeno is it is a GPS drone only. It does not have optical flow sensors, uh, nor does it have uh, any kind of obstacle avoidance, and I think some people expect that out of this drone, and it just, it just isn't that, so uh, I'm going to lower the camera here. We're going to do a little uh, pull away shot. So like when I was pulling away there, I was steady on the throttle and the drone definitely dropped. So until I hit the up button, uh, it was dropping. So that is an issue uh, with the Xeno. <clears throat> I guess what I would say is this is not a drone that you're going to want to fly in close quarters uh, in trees or anything like that. It's, uh, it's, you always want to be out in the open with it because it's not going to be uh, as steady of a, a drone, a locked in product uh, like a Mavic or something like that. So then the other thing I want to try here is, uh, is circle mode. Uh, when I tried that the other day, the drone really struggled with it. Now that we have a calm day, no wind, uh, let's see how it does. So I just hit return to home. Uh, for whatever reason, I was trying to hit the remote control on the screen, and I don't know if, if it's something with this iPad, but I, I couldn't get into that uh, uh, menu. Uh, 
that very well may have to do with the fact that this is not a, uh, a GPS uh, enabled uh, iPad. Okay, I'm going to uh, try that again here. <laughs> well, folks, I have to admit to a little stupidity here. I was pushing the wrong damn button. Okay, so I'm in it now. <laughs> uh, okay, I apologize for that. Here's orbit mode. Yeah, I don't think it's... Uh, yeah, it looks like without GPS, it's not going to let me do it. Yeah, I'm going to try a panorama shot. It would not let me do uh, orbit mode, uh, and I, I believe that uh, that has to do with the fact that this is not a GPS-enabled iPad. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do a 360 here. And there it started. Uh, I noticed since the last uh, update, it no longer requires you to turn off uh, recording video before you do that. It will uh, it will uh, simply uh, go ahead and start. But the other thing that I've noticed is you have to be careful because after it's done with its uh, 360 it will then shut off the video so you got to remember to turn it back on if you want to keep recording Yeah, I need to raise the camera up here. We're not really We weren't getting as much as we should uh, It's giving me a battery uh, warning at 40% Uh, the other thing that I want to note on this flight is uh, that the uh, the Wi-Fi connection has been solid the whole time. Okay, so there it completed its 360 and it did shut off uh, video, so I'm going to start recording again. And let's uh, let's get some altitude. Let's just take it on a little flight at this point. Well, I'll tell you, the sticks are sure sensitive on this drone. And you do you get that uh, that little uh, what I call the Hubson yaw. The, the the drone doesn't fly straight in the direction that it's going. In other words, the camera and the drone itself are at a little bit of an angle to the direction of flight. I'm hoping something that's something that uh, that they'll work on. So let's get out here a ways. We're, we're at uh, almost 500 meters. Uh, we're down to 34 percent battery. I better not push it here. We're at 500 meters. I'm gonna hit return to home and uh, let's see, see how she does. If I'd have had more uh, battery reserve, I would have gone out further, but uh, I think we're going to come back and uh, and uh, I'll do uh, I'll do a hand landing here. So it's coming back, and as it gets closer, uh, sorry about that. Kind of adjusting my screen here, folks. Uh, so as it gets closer, I'll I'll cancel the uh, landing, and I'll see if I can do uh, a hand landing with it. It may be a little bit difficult carrying this big thing around. I'm telling you, this is really awkward. I, I definitely will go back to flying with my phone. Not just because this is so awkward, but because of GPS. But it can be done. This is an iPad Mini 4. Uh, and if you had a, a uh, uh, wireless version, and it's a cell phone version, I bet it would work fine with GPS. Okay, I'm going to let it drop here a little bit, and then we'll, we'll cancel. Canceling return, backing it off a little bit, raise the camera. Let's drop her down. Oh, 
Okay, folks, let's see. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that on the camera. Just, uh, it's really simple. Just grab a hole and then full stick down. Full stick down and, and there you go. Uh, there again, uh, I, I'm really glad that uh, Peter Martin demonstrated that because uh, I think that's a really legit way to uh, to launch and catch this drone and uh, you know I've had it land in the grass and, and mowed the lawn here a few times and you know obviously this is a much better way to do it so uh, anyway let me uh, let me get everything shut down and uh, and we'll do a quick uh, conclusion there again I reminded you to remind everybody to always turn off video before you shut off the drone uh, that way you don't lose your file by the way, any of you other vloggers out there, if you have an Apple phone or, or an iPad, uh, the screen recording is sure handy. Uh, what I've noticed, I haven't tested it on this iPad yet, but I can tell you on my iPhone, uh, the audio quality is, is really uh, outstanding uh, with the iPhone. Okay, uh, we'll do our conclusion here. Uh, what Hubson owner hasn't uh, struggled a little bit with uh, getting this little doohickey on? Uh, it's always a little bit, uh, there we go, once it goes, it goes. Uh, so there again, uh, the Hudson Zeno, I know a lot of controversy lately. Uh, people have had some issues and uh, criticisms with some of the software upgrades. Uh, but I don't know what was, I, I just look at that flight that I just did. Uh, the drone was perfectly steady, uh, did everything I asked it to do. Uh, yeah, the Hubson drop is still there. Yeah, the sink is still there when you turn left and the rise when you turn right. Uh, so, <clears throat> those are definitely flaws. But for me, at least, it's certainly not a deal breaker with this drone. I know some people have had connection issues. I've talked about that a lot, so I'm not going to go over that again. Uh, but as you can see, I had a solid connection. The whole time I flew this, and by the way, that's the first time with that with that iPad as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm saying that uh, uh, that that that's pretty good. And I'm not saying that there again. I'm not saying that other people had haven't had uh, Wi-Fi boards that burn out or whatever. I'm sure that kind of thing happens. Uh, the uh, they they have definitely improved the video quality every time they come out with a new release for that camera. There are incremental differences. Uh, in the quality of that video. Uh, so uh, I'd have to say I'm happy with the little drone and uh, it, it will fly. We just proved today that it will fly with an iPad Mini 4. Can't speak to uh, other iPads versions but that Mini 4 worked, uh, worked just fine and I think if I had had a cell phone version of a Mini rather than just a Wi-Fi version uh, I could have done uh, some more of those intelligent flight modes too. Uh, and then I've heard people say that you can download maps. I'm, I've never tried that. But uh, in any case, uh, I, hope, uh, I hope that helped everybody today and, and gave some more insight into this uh, cool little drone. Uh, there again, this is Marcus Crawford or Idaho Sledhead as I'm known on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you like this kind of content, uh, I'm, I'm going to do way more than just the Hubson Zeno. Uh, you know, I've got uh, I've got a, uh, a Femi uh, X8 SE on the way. When that shows up, we'll start doing some videos with that. And of course, I have my Mavic 2. And there's a lot. Uh, there's some new stuff with that. Some new updates. So I hope to get some videos out on that as well. Uh, but in any case, consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, hey, thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this video and. We'll see you on the next one.